Hey there, YouTube. Uh, a while ago, I dropped a video on this channel that got, you know, got a pretty good reception. And it was just bits of me teaching a practical shooting fundamentals class. The video was uh, about an hour long. And like I said, people seem to enjoy it. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video in case you missed that one. Uh, this video is something similar. It's along those same sort of lines. Uh, this is a match talk through video, we call it. So it's uh, 20 minutes of me breaking down footage of, uh, of me shooting a match and kind of explaining what's going on uh, with, you know, doing this or that or, or whatever, just talking through a match. Um, between these two videos, it should give you a pretty good idea uh, of what practical shooting training group is and what it's all about. So if that's something you heard of and you're not, you know, you're not quite sure if that's something you'd be interested in or, or if it's for you, uh, like I said, this should give you a pretty good idea uh, if that's something you might be interested in. So if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, go to practicalshootingtraininggroup.com or pstg.us. And if not, that's cool too. Uh, over on PSTG, we have uh, Q&A technique videos, uh, match talk through videos like this. There's drills. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff, and there's hundreds of uh, videos up uh, at this point. So like I said, if you like this and want to see more, that's where you go to see more. And with that, uh, enjoy the video. Hey there, training group. This is Great Plains Section Match uh, 2020. I've got no, uh, no hat cam on this match because my, uh, my hat cam took a dump on the first stage. Uh, but I've got uh, overhead drone footage of the stages, uh, and I've got two third-person cameras running, so you should still get a pretty good idea what's going on, and I did the stage walkthroughs with a first-person camera. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this is my first stage of the match here. I'm gonna be starting here. I've got targets to engage, these angles, targets to shoot over a low wall here. Moving down the, the hallway, we've got a swinging target back here and a few other sets of targets to engage. So let's take a look at the first person walkthrough. Um, this is an interesting scenario here in that we'll be drawing onto these two poppers. And now we want to make progress this way, get moving, because behind the low wall here, we've got targets to engage. That means it'll be advantageous to be shooting these tux targets while moving. I mean, of course, that's that's an iffy proposition, as you can see, so I'll have to be aiming carefully on those. The low targets here, you can see they're upside down, so that means you've got to get really close. So about here, the A zones start to appear, and then yeah, so you've got to get pretty close to get on the A zones. This is the swinging target here. This is a plate that activates the swinger will come out here. It's more easily available at the end, so I'll be shooting it then. We've got a couple targets here. And now moving on down the lane towards the end of the stage. There's another target back behind here. The swinger's over here. Targets to engage here. And a close target here. So the order for me at the end, I'm just going to work this shooting scenario left to right. So here's the shooting while moving on the tux targets, very careful aiming there, I'm trying to maintain motion. And as you can see, there's no timing to be done really on the swinger. It's just not a complicated scenario. The, the, the key here to success, well, there'll be a better view on the downrange camera. So the key is here, reloading. Now you can see my eyes shifting up towards the plate to activate the swinger. I'm gonna engage that straight away. So instead of thinking about this, like I'll be have to move to a position to shoot, as soon as the magazine goes in the gun, I'm looking to start engaging targets. Uh, let's see if we get a good look at my, my eyes here, yep. And then you can see the gun go up onto the swinger and I'm gonna track it down. Take a close look here. I'm looking at the swinger, it's coming down, the gun tracks down into the swinger first shot and the swinger continues to move and there will be transitioning off. Gun stays up here as I move around these short movements and there we go that's the first stage. Moving on to the next stage here start positions here work our way around there's an interesting uh, timing sequence right here which you'll get a better view of 
on the first person walkthrough. There we go. So that's showing a drop turner. So there'll be four pieces of steel. One, two, three, four. Oh, covered by hardcover. Two more here. Okay. Uh, as you can see, one of those pieces activates this drop turner that takes a while for it to come out. This is a bobbing target here off to the left. So the order will be activate the, the uh, drop turner, st um, static steel, activate the, uh, the bobber, static steel, turner, bobber. That'll be the order. And uh, you'll see I'll be waiting on the drop turner anyway because it takes it so long to come out. More tux targets to be shot if you try, you know, while you try to maintain motion. A few more targets here, and then coming up to the end of the stage. There was a shooting box here, which, um, which you could shoot the drop turner from while it was at rest. So this means that uh, since the drop turner is always available, you'll be picking up missed penalties uh, if you don't get your hits on that drop turner. So let's take a look. You'll see I'll be waiting on this, uh, this drop turner here. And there's just not much to be done about it. So let's take a look at this order again. In slow motion. So draw, activate the turner, static steel, activate the bobber, static steel, turner comes out, and the bobber's right there for you. The, the interesting thing about this sequence, or the thing that... that um, kind of pushed me in this direction is that you'll see the bobbing target once this thing comes out it's pretty much always available even on the first the first exposure when it's moving the most its head is the head of the target is still not quite going to go down behind this the steel hardcover here which means there's really no time limit to shoot this target because it'll always be available on some level you'll just if you just transition your gun down here right above that piece of hardcover there's always going to be this brown strip available to shoot. And now we'll reload to get closer to these tux targets. And then the gun stays up. I keep moving, trying to engage them. So the important thing at the, the end of this stage is it's another one of those scenarios where you keep the gun up just shoot with discipline and keep engaging targets the whole time. That's the way to go. Okay, uh, this next stage has a shaky bridge on it, which is very interesting because it's gonna it, it destabilizes you a lot. You'll be shooting from that bridge. Back here is a plate rack with uh, some hardcover steel in front of it, force it, kind of forcing you to shoot the rack from two different positions. This is the view of the plate rack from the bridge. As you can see, that steel is uh, obscuring a couple of those plates. We've got this partial target here to be shot from the shaky bridge. Now, the shaky bridge is interesting. You have to really get your stance spread out wide and um, kind of minimize your movement while you're shooting because you really get destabilized. As you can see here, as you move up uh, along the stage, targets appearing and disappearing. Here's the second view of the rack. This plate is available only from here, so you have to come into this window no matter what you do and engage some steel. And then here's the view from the end of the stage. So engage a couple targets, get up onto the shaky bridge. You can see my stance here is going to get really wide, and then once I, once I stabilize, I really don't want to move uh, because, again, any movement is going uh, to upset me, you know? Um, and then I'll be engaging lots of the, the, uh, the plates from up here. Uh, as you can see, I'm shooting an optic and carry optics uh, this match. It's relevant on this stage because it does make these plates a lot easier if you have a dot. Then I moved to the second position on the bridge. Now, the, the bridge forced these two positions. It forced it. That's the only reason I'm shooting from two spots. There was no way around it. And you'll see here again in the other view, two very deliberate positions with a nice wide stance trying to minimize that movement. The end of the stage is pretty simple. You just move through, keep the gun up, engaging targets as they appear and disappear, trying to shoot good points. That part of the stage is not very complicated. This stage here is extremely complicated, and the first-person walkthrough I didn't even put the footage in because it, it really didn't 
help this stage make sense. So what we have is a bunch of targets back here and a couple close targets, a couple close targets up here. Okay, so that's where the targets are. You'll be picking your gun up uh, in the blue circle and engaging targets. Uh, the interesting thing here is sent, because of the way the walls are configured, you'll have to be taking engagements from all of these angles. So it'll look quite odd. As you can see here, I'm, I'm putting in the angles. So you'll be shooting from all of these angles. Um, and I'll be working, working the stage in this order. So I'm shooting the center section in the back right now. Okay, then clearing the targets on the right. And that's really how I decided the plan on this stage. It was a, it was a question of what the angles are. So now I'm shooting straight on this angle, moving to the other side of the stage. This is the one unfortunate thing about this plan is this got me off balance a lot here. Um, you'll see a better view in the other angle. There was a lot of options on this stage and a lot of discussion about the best way to do it. I think I landed on the plan I would prefer, but uh, it's difficult to be certain. In this stage, you're allowed to start anywhere you like. Most people started right here, moving then down range, engaging these targets back here, then moving back around and finishing. The last target shot by most competitors was back here. It's available through this port. Um, some people could lean out and shoot it from here, but then they'd be taking uh, deltas. So I didn't opt for that. All right, here's the first person walkthrough. Back here, a tux target. This one's pretty dangerous so to speak. You want to make sure you post up on that one and uh, shoot good points. Moving around, you can maintain motion here, so you'll see me doing that, keeping the gun up and engaging these targets as they appear. And then, as you can see back here, a partial target, so you want to shoot carefully. Notice here the gun is going to get up, and I'll be kind of shooting as I get into position. Then an aggressive movement out, shooting as I maintain motion, and there we go. Moving on here with part two, the next stage is a 34 round stage, the most complicated stage of the match. It includes a swinging target, a Texas star, an uncomfortable low port here with probably the most challenging shots of the match are off here to be shot through that low port. A lot of penalties picked up there. And then uh, a, a, a sh kind of a smorgasbord of other steel targets and paper targets to be engaged. Okay, so here's that Texas star. That'll be the first target that I want to engage. These steel uh, poppers, uh, I think the one on the left activates a swinger here. So the order for me will be activator, static steel, paper target, and then over to the swinger. Now this is that kind of, uh, well, I'm not sure the, good, uh, the, the, the right word for it, but this is uh, not a very nice position here. Like I said, a lot of penalties picked up here. This is 18, 20 yards away, and the awkward position makes this high risk. This uh, no-shoot caused people some problems. Now through this port, there was a lot of stuff available to shoot, but this target must be shot. Um, so I'll have to stop there for that. And we have some close targets here. And then this port, which requires you to kind of shift around at your, uh, at your knees in order to see everything. So here we go. So I'll be shooting the, these Texas Star top to bottom, of course. Then the swinger comes out, and you can see here there's plenty of time for this swinger. One thing to note, um, this swinger, as you can see it, the target's now vertical. This is a pretty unusual presentation. So you really want to make sure that you're staring 
at right where that A zone is because this was, di this was difficult to get at this A zone. You had to really look for that spot. <coughs> Excuse me. So crouching here, this is just shooting, shooting carefully. I saw enough people have issues. I just want to stand there and shoot carefully. Posting up for one target. And then you'll see me shifting around. So I've set my stance out wide so I don't have to move my feet. And then I just want to shift around at my knees in order to make sure I can see all those targets. And that's the end of the stage. Here we've got an interesting stage with an unloaded start pickup from the table. And then there's two of these plates with uh, no shoots behind them. And then you'll be shooting under this table like so. So it's quite an interesting short course. I mean, obviously this here is a very high risk shot. If you miss that plate, you're going to be in a penalty. So you start holding this bear and then at the tone, grab your gun, load it. The trick to success on this stage was doing this uh, low crab walk as you moved across the stage, engaging these targets under the table. A lot of people uh, had to stop to shoot those, um, and, that, and that, that cost some time. So getting under the table here, keeping moving, and picking up A's on those, that was critical here. The thing that was key on these plates to be able to engage them, I mean, semi-aggressively like I did was I didn't just look at the plate anywhere. I looked at the, a spot in the center of that plate. Because, uh, you know, aim small, miss small is a real thing. I wanted to look precisely to the center of that plate to make sure I'm not picking up a penalty here. Now this next stage, pretty, pretty vanilla. Start here and move down the lane. You can see the, the locations of the targets and probably get a good idea of the angles. I'll be engaging these targets off the start, reloading, moving down, and engaging target, 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 as you try to maintain motion and push up towards the end of the stage where there's more targets available through this port. Pretty, pretty straight up stage, not really, a lot, uh, not really a lot to worry about here. You just, like anything, shoot, shoot controlled, shoot decent points. That was the whole plan here. Of note here, you'll see me widening out my stance off the start position, so I'm getting ready to get moving, and then executing that kind of the fall out of position. So I'm falling out on these targets to get that little advantage. Getting the reload done, then gun back up. And here, trying to maintain motion, walking into the port. Notice gun staying up the whole time, engaging targets. You get a pretty good view in the downrange camera. So gun up, and just a slow walk in here while I keep engaging targets. The match finishes uh, on a couple of short stages here, shooting from just boxes. And here I've got some close range targets. You'll start uh, up on the wall here. So you have to draw the gun back up uh, while engaging these targets and then engage the other side. Not, not a uh, complicated stage, but a, but a fun one, a good test, I think. As you can see here, this didn't go that well for me. Having trouble getting around the wall. And here we've got popper. Each of these activate a swinger. The swingers come out from right here and there's another plate or another, uh, sorry, a popper. Didn't get a very good view of this stage on the, uh, on the camera, but you get, you get the idea. It's a, very, it's a very straight up stage. The key here, of course, is controlling your vision. Just looking at where, where you wanna hit on, the, on the, uh, the swingers, making sure you're tracking those with your eyes, and uh, making sure you're looking to specific points on those plates that activate them so you don't miss. Uh, this stage, uh, should be, I reckon, under four seconds if somebody nails it properly. So anyway, there it is, Great Plains uh, 2020. I hope you guys found the video useful.
Bang. There's one you can't shoot from the bridge. What do you have to take from here? Static, uh, steel, static paper, and then swinger. Oh, through the poppers right here. Load. Six. Damn five! Holding us take this back magazine. That's three.
Are you ready? Stand by. Gather around, children. I'll read you two stories. Ready? Stand by.